Hi everyone, it's Brenda. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to apologize, um, not only for my appearance, but also for um, being gone for quite a long time. And if you hear any noise um, in the background, it's my washer. It's going. I have a ton of laundry. Uh, we have been busy, 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 busy. I just got out of the shower, so excuse the mess and no makeup. <laughs> but I wanted to do this video while I had some. Uh, I had a chance. I have been having a great summer. Hopefully you all have too. Um, and focusing on my health and family pretty much. Um, and that's pretty much it. I probably won't be on YouTube a whole lot um, as I really, really do need to focus more on my health. And on YouTube I kind of forget about myself. <laughs> um, I still, you know, I, I don't go completely hog wild, you know, forget about the family and everything. I take care of them, but I really don't pay much attention to what I need. So I want to come on every now and then to do it as much as I can. Um, share with you what I've been doing and whatever, and yeah, I wanted first to say a quick shout out to um, Becky, who is Ampex Creations here on YouTube. And if you don't know her, check her out. She's got some awesome videos. She is an amazing lady, super talented, and this is a beautiful card she had sent me. Thank you, Becky. It means the world to me. And yes, I'm. I've been doing pretty good, and yeah, it's been hot here too, so excuse the sweating. <laughs> um, I do have all the doors open and everything air in the house now, because we have been gone. Um, and let's see what else. I did win a few giveaways on Instagram, so if you haven't followed me on Instagram, that's a really, really good place to follow me. Um, it's a lot easier for me. I can snap a picture and put it up, and it's there. I don't have to worry about filming the right... Um, transferring it to my computer, which is a whole new joke in itself. With Windows 10, I've got the upgrade, and it, like, completely made my computer useless for, like, a week, and then I figured out how to fix it, um, so it's great if, um, you've got a Lenovo, um, laptop, and you're having problems, and you update to Windows 10, message me, I'll tell you what you need to get rid of to fix it. Um, yeah, so, finally got that up and working, um, my son and his friend, uh, went to Florida and so we had a great time with them while they were here so they're back um they're back in Florida now getting their stuff together for possibly going into the Air Force which is pretty cool I think um they're both very highly motivated and also my daughter started college so and she's loving it that's awesome um so yeah it's been pretty crazy here <laughs> Um, so first I'll start with my finished objects. I have had so much going on. I'll move Mr. Head out of the way. Um, I made um, a pair so you can see. These are Tola socks. So they're also called yoga socks. Except for these have a heel. Um, I wanted the heel only because uh, within shoes and stuff a lot of people will get uh, blisters. And if you wanted to wear these with flip flops, uh, you could. I do not wear socks with sandals or flip flops. Uh, but if you do, however, this is perfect for it because the toe is open. Um, and it doesn't create extra material between your toes because I really can't stand that. But I have those. And those are out of. I believe these are the Spread Heart Soft. I'm not sure. It's been quite a while since I finished a lot of these projects. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this one already, and I was going to wear it today, but it's just too warm. Um, this is my tank that I had made, and I based it off a pattern, but I did alter it a great amount, um, only because I did want the ribbing on the bottom uh, to take away and to give height to my torso, to take away from the width and do anything to give height. Um, and I do like the plain knit and cinching at the top. Um, and it is quite warm. Uh, you could get away for this, uh, seriously, in the fall, even with a one of a uh, cotton long sleeve or three quarter sleeve. Um, you could wear it on uh, summer nights too. Super soft. Um, I actually made this out of baby yarn. Um, it's a um, Oh my gosh, Bernat baby yarn. It was one of the huge skeins, and I have so much left. 
Now, if I would have made this out of crochet, I probably used the whole thing and maybe a little bit more. I think that's what I love about knitting the most is that it takes less yarn. Um, but what I love about crocheting it the most, because I'm you know, all that patient, is the fact that it goes so much quicker and I can bust things out like quick. And when you're making things for Christmas, you really want to be able to do that. <laughs> And I finished a uh, pair of socks, and hopefully you can see them. There you go. And these are actually from my daughter. Um, she picked the colors, and I really, really love the uh, stripings on these. I think they're, uh, they came out really good. And I actually just finished these the other day. Uh, they took me a little bit of time because I was trying to get a custom fit sock for her and making the pattern so it was perfect for her foot and I've been working on that for everyone in the family and my son's friend for winter and I made another sock head hat but I made it short so you could see the pattern on here and let me get it on here and I love this yarn too this is a um, slouch. I think that's really cool. It's a beautiful one. It'll be another present for someone. Maybe my daughter will match her uh, brown Carhartt perfectly. And I made another hat, another sock head, and this is out of a um, mill end. And you can find mill ends, um, and this is supposed to be for your hair. I made it uh, exceptionally Actually, I made the same length, there we go, I might get this right, <laughs> I made it the same amount of stitches around the band as the other brand, but you can see how different yarns work. But this is perfect for my hair when I have it up in a clip or a ponytail or a bun or anything. This will sit on my hair really nice and not mess my hair up. I like that, especially if you're going out and you really don't want, you know, your hair all over the place. So. That one is for myself, unless somebody else might claim it, which happens a lot in my family. And I made a, another shawl, and this one is mm, pretty much my wingspan, just a little shy. But I've in the same, same yarn, the Millens, but I really like that. And if you haven't seen, I, I mean, you could, you know get away with wearing it as a shawl shawl. Um, quite warm for me to do that, but how I like to wear my shawls are actually more like scarves and wear them this way and then they're great in the winter instead of the scarf. They cover the whole area here and keep the wind from getting into your jacket at your chest, which is awesome, I think. Um, I've converted a lot of people in my family. <laughs> Uh, another thing, I will, I'm not sure if you've seen this, I had finished, I know I posted it on Instagram, I had finished my skull shawl, hopefully you can see that against my shirt, you can see a skull, but they're all little skulls, I thought it was beautiful, and this is again out of the Bernat super super soft yarn, um, and this was a crochet project, and I loved working on this. Is super super fun. The yarn, however, I do not care to work for with crochet. It's really really hard to see. However, with knitting, it would be fine. Um, but yeah, that one's finished. Which I really really like that too. And this is <laughs> probably what you would assume to be like just a piece of the material, but it's actually a jacket. Um, and this is crochet out of eyelash yarn fun fur, whatever you want to call it, it's pretty much the same, and it's worked in a circle, and I'm sorry you can't get it all in here, but, and I'm really not that big of a person, um, I am 5'5", five five, and this just keeps going and going and going, there we go, but this top folds over, and let me see if I can get this on. I'm probably going to regret it. It's super warm. <laughs> but I figured this would be great for fall days, um, winter, 
and also, believe it or not, this would be an awesome Halloween costume um, for your furry jackets. Um, if you wanted to be a cat or you wanted to make for your, your kid, you know, some kind of an animal, you know, pick your fun fur yarn that would match their fur color and, you know, crochet this out, you know, pretty quickly. And you could put, you know, a few buttons on it if you want to. I left mine open. Um, but, I mean, long sleeves, so this way it's super warm. And let me see if I could get a little bit further away here from you to show you how it does lay. But it's super long, it's really comfortable. It's, I think it's really, really pretty. But yeah. That is it. Well, there's a couple things else that I did make. Um, that unfortunately you're not going to get to see because they've already been shipped out or gifted. Um, yeah. I've been super, super busy on that department. I do have a couple works in progress. I only brought the one with me. The other one is my, um, what's it called? My Vlad shawl. Um, that one actually had a little bit of work, but I haven't had a chance really to pick it up because of all the other projects that I'm working on. Um, but here's a hint to what another thing I'm working on, my favorite time of the year, Halloween. Um, uh, we decided we're going to go with a cartoon theme this year, so I thought it's got to be some kind of, something to do with a cartoon. Um, I, I thought it was awesome. I'm not going to put out there what I'm going to be just yet, only because I want to make sure that nobody kind of picks the same thing coming for the party. I wanted, you know, different cartoons kind of to mingle. We're going to see what happens though. I am, however, using the Pound of Love from Lionheart in um, the Antique White. So it's kind of an off-white, um, not so much a a cream kind of just a slight um, tint of yellow not yellow not like a fisherman though and I'm also using denim by Lionheart the pound of love and it's going to take uh, probably a good amount um, if you know me I'm not a big person to work on piece items I like to work things as one piece um, as much as possible, but I will work piece items if it's something that I really like or I just, you know, I have the drive for it. Right now, apparently I have the drive for it. This is going to be one piece of the costume. Um, there is in total, let's see, this is actually going to be a dress. This is the back um, so far. I actually just started this yesterday. Um, then it has the front and the sleeves, and the sleeves are going to be long bell sleeves, um, well, pretty much bell from the cuff, not complete bell sleeves, and it's going to have, um, a kind of like a cowl, so like an extra piece of material folded over almost like a yoke, um, so I'm pretty excited about that. But you can see I'm using the antique white as a ribbing on the bottom and just a plain knit stitch here um, at the top for the blue to keep it simple. If you want to guess um, what you think that might be, I mean, I'll answer you personally, um, but not in the comment. I won't answer you in the comments below. You can you can leave your com your uh, what you think it might be. Um, in the comments, but I'll private message you if you're right or not. Um, so if you don't hear from me, then you're not right. Um, <laughs> so before I go, I'm going to show with you some acquisitions, um, some things I picked up in that time. I have gotten three skeins of bronze from Vanna's Glamour, and it's like a shimmery. I'm not sure if I want to make a shawl out of it or a hat or fingerless gloves or uh, maybe something for Halloween costume if someone needs it. Um, here's the yarn I use for my daughter's socks. It's um, actually a Trekking XXL. And 
uh, the, the colorways 533. Gotta love those colorways. But this is how much yarn I have left. I mean, so I could totally make use that for um, sock yarn blanket. If anyone's um, wants to get rid of some yarn scraps for a sock yarn or anything, contact me. I'll gladly take it. Um, and this one is for my husband. He picked out, this is 532, so one number off. This is his checking for his socks for Christmas that I'm going to be working on. Um, I'm sorry, the crinkling on this one, I didn't take it out of the bag yet. This one is Cotton Candy. Well, that's awesome. And this is Lion Brand. There we go. Cotton Candy from Lion Brand. And this one is for another pair of socks, maybe for myself, not sure just yet. And then again on Instagram, I'm not sure if any of you have heard of it, um, Dancing Dog Dye Works, her twisted sock base, hopefully you can see that. This is her beautiful hand dyed yarn. I love this. Um, I can't wait to work on it. It's so soft and squishy. Um, <laughs> and I'm definitely going to make socks for myself and she was having a giveaway for um, the yarn you just had to give her a name that she liked if she liked it the yarn would be named that and you get a skin of your choice of her sock bases and I named it hippie shake I mean I totally thought you know rainbow colored remind me of the 60s and I mean when I saw the pink and the brown and then you know all the beautiful colors I was thinking you know with it being summer I was like oh shakes you know the first thing that came to mind, the green for pistachios, or chocolate chip mint even, and anyway, maybe she, and she liked it, so I won, so I was super, super excited to get that, can't wait to play with that one either, um, yeah, and I'm also part of the birthday card club that Lori from Craft and Blind is doing, and I've sent all my cards out so far, unfortunately I forgot to film a few of them, I didn't film any of them, I didn't get pictures of the August cards, um, my September is ready, and we'll be going out shortly, so you know who you are, we'll be getting it. Uh, yeah, but if you're, if you have any questions or comments or anything, please leave a message below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Things have been super busy. If you want to follow me on Instagram, that's probably really the best way to, uh, you know, to see what's been going on. I post there more frequently than I really do on YouTube anymore, but I'm the Brenda HDP just like I am here, just take the sevens off. So just Brenda HDP. You can find me there. Follow me. I'd love to see you guys there. And yeah, have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. And I'll talk to you guys soon.